Next question is from Rary Walnuts. What's the proper amount of volume per body part per week? Is it a different amount for the larger muscles versus the smaller muscles? Oh, yeah, right. you know, okay, so uh, you're gonna, what you're going to hear us say is that this is very different from person mm -hmm. to person, which it is. That being said, studies show that the total set volume, so for a whole week, whether you work out your body parts twice a week, three days a week, or once a week, is anywhere between 10 to about 18 sets. So you got a pretty big range. Most people doing well around 12 total sets per body part per week. Now, is it different for larger muscle groups or smaller muscle groups? No, not really. Probably because the smaller muscle groups are getting work typically done with the larger muscle groups, and we don't typically count that volume. So in other words, I'm, I'm only going to count the volume for my triceps when I'm working my triceps, although when I do my shoulder presses and my bench presses, my triceps are obviously going to be uh, quite involved. But that number is a general number. And here's the truth. The truth is uh, you got to figure this number out for yourself. The right dose for you is what's going to build the most muscle and give you the best results. More than that is going to slow down your progress, and less than that is going to slow down uh, your progress. So, and, and my number changes. Uh, I definitely, there are times when I'm doing closer to 20 sets per body part per week. And then there's times when these sets are much lower, but well, usually it's the intensity. And there's, that, there's such an individual variance for yeah. a person too. Like some people can just handle so much. I mean, we, you talk about this a lot with your legs, like your legs can handle so much more volume than other body parts. I mean, I was thinking about that uh, yesterday. I was training shoulders here and I can just, it, I can take a lot on my shoulders. Yeah, same. I could, do I could take a lot on my shoulders. I barely have to hit my chest or my back to get uh, as sore. So, and I, I've, I've found that it to be unique to every person. So you really have to figure out where that, that point is for you and certain muscle groups, you're going to be able to do, uh, you know, more than others. And so once you figure that out and then trying to track it and then slowly scale. And then the other thing too, is like when you scale it, I think that the mistake that most people make is they go right to, oh, I can handle so much more. Like mm -hmm. if I'm just starting and I've been it's inconsistent. It's to be very gradual. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to. In fact, my goal when I was, because I was tracking this a lot when I was competing, uh, my goal was always to make sure I at least accomplished what I did last week or a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Because what most people have a tendency to do is to go backwards a little bit. They start out the first week, this is their volume. Maybe they track that way for a couple of weeks and then they have a, a slow week and then they go down. And then they overcompensate, they overcorrect, and then they go way hard. The other, it's like, no, you don't need to do that, just a tiny bit. This all, all this, this was like a pattern that I had to figure out, like where I would take a week off or something, I would be on a break, and then I'd come back and I'd try and, and, and hit the same amount of volume that I was doing, and it would just destroy myself. And then I would go through that process of like repair, damage, heal, you know. And so I'm just basically healing my way back to get to thinking that I like that was the most effective way to yeah. do it was to just hammer myself to get back to that kind of volume. Yeah. And there's also this like, there's the, there's your limit in terms of how much volume you can handle that you can recover from. And then there's the ideal amount of volume that's yeah, going to build great point. the most muscle and give you the best results. And those are different. Like I can handle more volume than I currently do, but doing so will actually reduce my progress and my my goals, right? We'll, we'll, Such we'll, get, a good point. Me, yeah. we'll slow down my progress towards my goals, I should say. So there is a right dose and it's not the most you can do. The most you can do is the most you can heal from, but that's not the, the right dose that'll give you the best Adaptation. So, and I want to say, because I used to fall for that all the time. Like, yeah. oh, I, I recovered from that. Let me add more. Oh, I recovered for that, and then, and then I'll, for some reason, I dropped the volume for whatever reason, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah. like then your I'm body stronger. Takes off. Yeah. yeah, like what the hell's going on? Yeah. I, I, I thought I could handle that before, which I could. It just was more than uh, that. That was ideal for my body to to progress. 